So I was writing just some notes before this meeting, and let me just share with you a few things which I uh, I wrote down just a few steps how I usually go around the go-to-market strategy. I would say the mm -hmm. first step where, where I always start is defining my ideal customer profile. So defining my ACP, who, am I, who do I want to sell to? So currently you're selling to smaller companies and you want to, to sell to uh, medium to large companies. But it's good to spend some time on this so that you focus on one, who, who they actually are. So instead of just saying medium companies, what kind of companies, what markets, um, what kind of, what's their actual size? And size could be revenue, size could be number of employees. So who are they, where they work, so the, the, the kind of environment they work in. And, and again, one thing you, you could go with, you could focus on just one industry. So medium companies in mm -hmm. one particular industry. Um, mm -hmm. just, just for, so that, and that's why you specify who are they. So who are they? Uh, where they work, where, what industry, and what challenges they face. It could be that the challenges in a medium to larger companies are different than to a smaller company. And you've already hinted at it. So uh, one challenge which you have is possibly just different from smaller companies. The medium company is who would be the owner of this software? Who would be the person you're selling to? Is it uh, a product manager? Is it a sales manager? And the second part, which you, again, you're mentioning it now, the second part of discovery is researching competition. And I like researching competition. One, to know what's out there similar to us. But I also like researching competition to know um, how do they explain their product? And that you, mm -hmm. you get tips for one of the next sections, which is yeah, the next section actually, developing your message. So how, one, how do we explain mm -hmm. their product? But also, what are people saying about their product? So if you go and mm -hmm. read reviews for competition, so typically I go to G G2 reviews, um, I, I, start, I start seeing the reviews where people say, I like this, but I don't like this item or I don't like this part of the software, I don't like the way mm -hmm. they do with this. And use that in your messaging to say that we are better than software X because we do this better than them. Uh, so that you, you start, it, it's technically it's a shortcut to speak to people because you don't need to spend mm -hmm. 30 minutes or one hour with everyone, but you're just filtering extremely quickly. Um, and, and that's why I like reviewing competition. And, and of course, if you just go to their website, you start getting some ideas of what is, the, what do they think that they are strong in? And you can start finding the areas where you might be stronger uh, mm -hmm. and to position the product. And the whole point of a go-to-market strategy is ultimately to say how, how to speak about your product and where to speak about your product. But you need to, to do a couple of steps earlier, earlier than that mm -hmm. to say what's yeah. unique about our product, who do you want to speak to, where do you want to mention our product. Uh, and... So does it make sense to not, for us? So for us, yeah. defining your ICP or ID customer profile, and researching competition. And again, the point mm -hmm. of researching competition is just to get uh, what do they do well, what they don't do well, how do they position yourself themselves, and to find your unique uh, your unique selling point within the competitive lens. Then it takes you to the next step, which is literally defining your messaging. And your messaging your mm -hmm. messaging is how do you speak about your product. Um, so mm -hmm. what is good about your product? What, who is it targeted to and how do you... It's not about writing the copy for the website. It's not your job. It might become your job eventually, but it's not, it's not the point <laughs> over here uh, because yeah. I, I know in startup life we end up doing everything, but it's not the point here. The point here is if you were to speak about your product, how would you speak about your product? It's about showing what's really good for you, what's really uh, different than the competition, et cetera, et cetera, what we've been saying for the last five minutes. Yeah. So, so that's why the third step is literally taking what you found out from the ideal customer profile and the competition and in some way joining them all together to build a message. And you need to take a bit longer to define the message because you need to write different kinds of messages till you find which one actually works yeah. well and which one is you're happy with and which one the whole company is happy with and which one the sales team are, are able to use or want to use, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of testing over here in the messaging part to see mm -hmm. uh, what works or what doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's good that you've already started speaking to people. So that's where this starts, give you, starts to give you an indication of what could resonate or not. So one, define your ICP, two, research competition, three, develop messaging. And then the fourth, which is 
for me at least, is the hardest one. It's setting targets. So when you go to market, mm -hmm. what do we want to... Um, what is a, what is a good, a good enough target? And target could be a sales target, so actual mm -hmm. number of closed accounts. If you have a sales team, I don't, I don't know if you have a sales team or not. Yes. Um, so that's one. Could be what are the targets for the sales team, and two could be marketing targets. So how many leads do we want to get for the sales team? Mm -hmm. um, which is it's the part which I hate most because it's um, very rough. And especially if you're starting the product for the first time, you have no clue what is a good target or not, or what you can achieve yeah. or not. And that, that's why I hate it. It's the point which I hate to find the targets because sometimes it feels like you're just doing creative accounting, just throwing random numbers. Uh, but again, you need a target to know if your go-to-market strategy actually is working or, or not and what you're trying to achieve. And particularly, you need a target so that the next step, step five, is choosing your tactics. So how are you going to sell the product? And here we go a bit out of the product area and more into the marketing and sales area. Mm -hmm. But it's part of the whole go-to-market strategy. And uh, the tactics could be, um, one, what scripts the sales team are going to use, whether they're just going to do code calling, how you're going to get leads, um, how maybe marketing is going to get the leads for you, whether it's, I don't know, you have, you're going to have a PDF download where someone can provide their email address and then the sales team follows up on it. You're going to have a an outbound campaign with Google Ads, with Facebook Ads. You might need to have a content plan, so what kind of blog posts, etc. you're going to write, what kind of partnerships you might want to have. So you know, there might be some partnerships which you, some some partnerships which you might want to put in place uh, to get leads to close, to get the word out there that your product actually exists. Um, and all of this together is particularly the I define this as the then the marketing strategy of the go-to-market strategy, which is basically what channels you're going to use what budget you're going to have for each channel, whether it's, it's it's a blog post, which is organic, which is free, but whether you're going to put any money on it for adverts on it, and uh, yeah, how we're going to build it. So whether you're going to use Google Ads, Facebook Ads, YouTube, whatever, yeah. emails, it's where you, you can stay high level and then the marketing team can really create the, yeah. the details of what adverts are we going to do, what blog posts are we going to do. But you need to define that, yes, we need mm -hmm. content, we need adverts, we need partnerships, we need outbound coding from the sales team. It's, it's defining the what, which is your, which is your mm -hmm. job. And then the last step is literally once you launch, it's measuring and providing feedback. So seeing how many leads are we getting. Yeah. Um, how many how many leads are the sales team closing? What's the revenue like, et cetera, et cetera. But the last step is mostly after you actually launch 